Hello and welcome to New Junction. In today's video we're going to be installing a mass sequencer um, which is an automatic uh, trigger and sequencer for a uh, three or four aspect signal. Um, these are controlled primarily from uh, an infrared sensor which lies in the track um, which we'll uh, go on to install in a moment. Um, as you can see um, you can see the signal at green at the moment, but uh, the sensor is just hidden just here. And if I trigger it with my uh, finger, that will then uh, start the sequence to red, to um, and so on and so on. Back to green. Um, they're very effective on a the layout. These are the boards we're using. Um, they come from a company called Heathcote Electronics. Um, and they're quite reasonably priced for what they do and they make it so easy. Um, as you can see there's two here, this is the uh, top and that's the bottom um, on obviously two different boards um, and they control um, this sort of uh, ooh, four aspect signal. Now if you imagine underneath the baseboard that's how the uh, that's the infrared sensor currently that's what it looks like underneath the baseboard. Um, the signals have drop wires which then go into uh, ports at the end um, and they're all super super easy to uh, install there's no soldering with this one um, and on, as you can see on the instructions if I can zoom you in or focus you um, um, it tells you exactly where they go in that order and it's literally into a wire screw box nice and easy Hopefully this is uh, clear on camera. You join me underneath the baseboard at that same signal. Um, this is the uh, the board that's already installed. Um, your infrared signal's bad here, going straight through the board um, to between the track. And this is the uh, location of the signal dropper. And you can see all the, uh, the wires going into their relative sections. Um, and they just screw in. And then of course you're positive and negative to the uh, power. Um, the power for these is any supply. You can use the accessory port on the back of a controller um, or I'm using a 16 volt um, gauge master accessory kit uh, power pack I should say um, and it's as simple as that. Um, now I'm going to show you how I install one. Right, first things first when installing a uh, new signal you want to select the site of the signal in the first place. Um, I think mine's going to go about here um, just in front of the uh, cantinery. Um, here's the signal. So the first thing I've got to do is drill a, uh, for this one in particular, it's a 3mm drill bit for a 3mm hole for the signal. So I'll do that first. Now before I uh, put the signal in, I wanted to show you how it's going to be wired up because you have to wire it on the underside of your baseboard, which isn't the easiest to film. Um, so annoyingly, I'm going to show you it now, and then go away and do it off camera. Um, as you can see from the diagram, um, which replicates this board in this position, um, you've got um, blue, green, yellow, red and black for your uh, wiring. Now my signal is very similar to that, as you can see hopefully it comes out. Each wire is coloured, which again is very difficult to see underneath the baseboard. But uh, in my case, I've got two yellows for the double yellow and the yellow. Um, sort of going in that order, you literally screw them in into these uh, lovely ports, which is very nice when you're uh, <laughs> scrabbling around in the dark under your boards. Much easier than having to solder them all, as it can be quite fiddly. Um, so, literally, once the uh, uh, the board is uh, secured in place you'll have the signal facing up uh, like this and you literally just screw in the coloured wires as and where they should go according to these instructions and all being well <laughs> like everything um, it'll work or not work um, another one as well is uh, you've seen uh, my light cycle through a bit earlier um, that can be changed in the speed they come back to green um, through this box here and you literally turn it I think it's anti-clockwise to uh, slow it down clockwise to speed it up um, 
I'm going to have mine set so it's back to green by the time the train comes back round. Right, here's to the fun bit. Wiring it up. Catch you in a minute. Now in terms of uh, positioning the board under the layout, it wants to be close enough so that you can actually physically join the uh, wires from the uh, signal itself to the board on the underside. Um, and also has to be uh, in the right place so that the sensor, the infrared sensor, comes up at the right place. Um, the way I do this, I mean, this is where mine will go, pretty much underneath the board. Um, from the top down, through a sleeper, I'll use my uh, a small drill bit to go through the sleepers about there, just a pilot hole, straight down, um, which will then be an indicator for the bigger drill bit, which will create a hole big enough for these infrared sensors. Um, uh, to come up from the bottom. A top tip uh, I always like to use is because the baseboard is only uh, sort of 12 mil thick um, and of course if you're drilling up through the bottom um, you could quite easily do some damage to your scenery with that drill bit. Um, so what I would do is use um, electrical tape just to mark on the drill um, where the sort of 10 12 mil mark is so that I know when to stop um, and then I can just sort of press the hole out from the top, if that makes sense. And just like that, that's what I mean. So as you're drilling through, um, the spike will go through, but you won't, you shouldn't go through the scenery as long as you don't go past that tape band. Right, so I'm gonna do that now, and uh, hopefully when you join me again, I'll have them all installed and working. See, in literally a second. And there we have it, one working signal. Um, I really quite like these to be fair from Heathcote Electronics because they're really easy to put in. Um, I will put a link to them in the description below um, to check that out. Um, another feature um, which I haven't explained as well is if, uh, along with the signal being triggered by the infrared um, like that, you can also daisy chain the board so um, as this one's gone to, uh, to red um, the next one down the line would uh, go to uh, the amber as you see it here. Um, so it's all very clever really. But uh, let's have a look at them in action. And uh, as ever, thank you for watching. Take care.